difficult uh, loss tonight. Uh, proud of the way our guys competed. I, I really thought we uh, we guard them about as well as we can. Um, thought our coaches did a good job of putting some things together, and and uh, and our kids played really hard. Um, thought Al did a fantastic job guarding the ball. Um, Trey was uh, was physical out there and did a good job just. Rebounding, keeping guys off the glass, boxing out, being in space and taking up space. And, um, and then the rest of our guys really just did a good job of, of making it hard. And, uh, you know, obviously we had chances. We had the seven point lead in the, in the second half. And then we just, we just don't make enough shots. It's uh, been hard for us a little bit at times. We just feel like we get some decent shots, but uh, you, gotta, you gotta knock them in. Uh, obviously Hemingway off the bench was great. Um, happy for him, happy for Trey, proud of those guys. Uh, you know, Alex has done a good job of trying to work his way back. Obviously, with the ankle, high ankle sprain and being out two months, it, it's challenging for a freshman to get, get back. He just, uh, you know, there's a lot new that happens in two months, and he's finally getting to the point where he's, he's in a good place to be able to play in these kind of games. And I thought he showed, you know, what he can do and, and some courage to make big shots in a tough situation. So, but credit to Notre Dame. Uh, Fluger obviously stepped up and made huge plays. He hadn't been scoring very much and he hit four threes, uh, gave him a great lift and, and that's what good experienced teams do. They find a way and, and they find a way tonight. Coach, how, how frustrating is it you had the, the injuries obviously and then to, to lose Amir tonight? Uh, yeah, it is. There's no question. It's been uh, that part's been hard. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about it too much. We had enough guys here today to win. And it's a little disrespectful to the team that wins that you complain about those kinds of things. So, uh, you know, it's just it's it is what it is. It's a challenge. You got to get got to get past it. Brad, the last four minutes was the offense maybe a little jittery or rushed. Yeah, a little bit. I, I probably should have called a timeout in one of the one of the scenarios. Um, probably the one with Newman. Um, although I, I just thought that John was going to get in there and go to the basket, and uh, he just got fouled. And uh, you know, I just sometimes he has a hard time kind of just seeing seeing a spot and getting there. And sometimes I, th I just think he's more talented than he realizes, but he kind of stops himself, and I thought he did that tonight. I thought on that play he had a chance to go right in there and be a tough guard. They're trying not to let you score a three. He should just go to the basket, get in there, and he got fouled on the play before. And, um, you know, I was a little I concerned that they would call a timeout. They're going to go zone, um, and so we just let it go. But in hindsight, I probably should have called a timeout. Was that the frustrating thing tonight was that maybe guys are settling for too many threes when there's chances of going inside? Uh, the maybe a little, but um, – you know, we, we got a lot of really good looks now. I, I don't think, you know, it's funny, Alex made shots that are hard, you know. Um, but we had some other guys that got some pretty good looks, and, and really those are more high percentage shots than a pull up 15 or 16 footer. Uh, you know, the analytics say that. And, uh, we, we just needed to make, you know, two more uh, today. And, you know, I'm surprised that we're struggling as much as we are. Our guys put time in. We we practice. They they come in on their own. Uh, you know, John Newman, Hunter Tyson shoot more than as much as anybody. And uh, you know, one for now, it's a hard it's hard. Do you think that kind of quarantine the, the flu here, or do you, are you concerned? Yeah, about that? yeah. You're always concerned. My strength coach doesn't feel good. Um, you know, Amir just kind of came in yesterday mid morning. And was really complaining, and uh, you know, Dr. Reeves checked him out. And obviously, said he thought it was the flu, and, and uh, we tried to keep him away from everybody. And uh, but yeah, these are these are tough times. Kids' systems or immune systems are down, and you just hope that it doesn't doesn't get contagious. Uh, <coughs> you know, we're we're already limited in bodies. We need we need everybody. You think he'll be back Wednesday? No idea. Right. What makes you think you can make a run here down the stretch of the regular season? Uh, I just think that uh, we're giving ourselves chances most nights. Like the last two games we've lost, you know, we, 
we had four shots to tie the game or take the lead at, at Virginia. Um, there's going to be a lot of people not have that opportunity at Virginia after playing a very poor first half. And then tonight, without a good player, we still had a seven-point lead and are playing good against a team that's averaging 80 points the last five times out and older team, aggressive, and, and uh, you know, we just need to settle down, make a couple plays, and when we've had games where we've made those plays at the end of games, uh, you know, North Carolina and, and Duke, to name a couple, Syracuse, some pretty good teams we've been able to, to finish some games off. But um, you saw tonight a couple instances where things that have happened to us earlier in the year where we've let a couple games get away. We had chances tonight and we let we had some bad possessions from some guards that we, we can't have those shots or turnovers. Um, we we got to be a little more relaxed and we're just a little we, we play a little too fast occasionally, and that gets us to make a poor decision. You take a little solace in the way your defense has been playing the last three games. Um, like you said, one team like Notre Dame is 61. Yeah, we, sins. this is, you know, every game is different. Uh, every team is different in the matchups. And, and I, you know, I, I was very concerned about this game, uh, us being able to guard them. And our guys just did a great job. I mean, we really, our kids exerted a ton of energy and effort. You know, we, we probably had five or six breakdowns where we made mental mistakes, but we, we did a lot of really good things and competed hard uh, to get back in transition. They're an incredibly fast team. And to hold them to four offensive rebounds, you know, incredible. And that's why this was a hard one, because we did so many good things and your kids tried so hard. And, uh, you know, you just you want to see that, that work out. But at the end of the day, you got to make more shots, and that's, that's what today came down to. We had nine turnovers, so not a terrible number. Uh, Twelve assists. We, we we have to make more shots. Coach, you touched on it a little bit. What's it mean to get Alex, you know, clicking down the stretch? Well, we just need another guy that can make shots consistently. Kern's had a couple tough games; just hasn't seemed to. He's kind of gotten out of his rhythm, and we need somebody in that spot to to kind of play a little better and uh, to score a little bit for us. Uh, you know, we feel like their opportunities are there. And, and uh, certainly Alex is a guy who's shown a couple things, made a couple shots in the second half in the Louisville game, and now he does it here. Hopefully he's going to build on that and, and uh, you know, take advantage of the opportunities that, that uh, he, he gets. Any more questions? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, Coach.